1 Corinthians 15 verse 9 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 9 the Bible speaking said for I am the least of the apostles that I'm not me to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church but by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but I labor more abundantly than they all yet not I but the grace of God which was with me I am the least among them I want to speak to the people that believe that they are the least among us I want to speak to the people that believe that they are nothing I want to believe that at every point in time when God wants to make men he picked them from the dung hill the last time God took anybody from the palace he took him back to the wilderness but eventually you are in the palace enjoying the beauty of the palace I have a bad news and a good news for you the bad news is that your allotment of the palace will be taken away from you but the good news is that you are about to be enlisted into the armies of god i speak to the people that actually the bow their bow has been broken i speak to the people upon which the advantage has been cut short but eventually you had an uncle that is sponsoring you now he has died you are about to make contact with the power of god but eventually you had something that you have hold dearly to and somehow it has fallen you are about to make contact to an invisible God. But eventually you don't know that sometimes in the year King Uzziah died, that's when men see God. And in that day, those that begin to see God will rejoice in the death of Uzziah. But when Uzziah was alive, they wouldn't have rejoiced. What I'm trying to let you understand is that there are those that consider themselves to be the least among us. But the Bible said, yet again, this least among us were least, but there was a great supply upon the least among us to become mighty men but mind you that grace was not a grace to make them to become lazy neither was a grace supply upon them to become lascivious neither was a grace supply upon them to argue on facebook it was a grace to make them to be able to labor i believe that everybody has an allotment of grace per time you will not be given that privilege every time as it is right now in this season that you are now Paraventure God has put you in Shekinah just for two years, just for three years, just for four years. After that, you'll be cut off from everything that referred to as spiritual fellowship. So you will find yourself in a region where looking for God will be very hard. You don't know how to find yourself in a place where you are the only one that can pray. You will now value the availability of every company that you are seeing like this. And that's why I'm trying to let people understand that you may be the least among but anytime God begins to do certain things to you that pushes you towards the place of building, there is a tentative plan. Number one, your calling is being responded to. Number two, your ordination is being beckoned upon. And number three, your destiny is being shaped. Because until you find yourself in a school in the spirit, you cannot be made. Then what then is a school in the spirit? Because the school in the spirit is not a school that has a name. It's not happening in any state. Is actually a teaching and a process and a schooling that you may not like that God subjected you to. But why did God subject you to those schools in the spirit? Number one, because of a covenant that you had. Number two, because of the proclamation you made unto God. Number three, because you pray. And number four, sincerely speaking, it's not because of anything but because of a need in the region. Because there are times when there can and be a need in the region and God will begin to look for a man and when God begin to look for a man there are sincere time where men like Saul that would never pray it God can appear to them there were people that were praying in a church asking God 10 dimension of power make me a prophet make me an apostle make me a bishop God never cared then somebody that his job description was to kill the Christians was the one that the Lord appeared to him. So what necessitate the need for Saul to be encountered by God? You may say Ananias pray. You may call this one, call that one. All of those things are probability. But in sincere truth, there are times and seasons where God looks for people to use. And God can look upon you with all your zeal and carnality. You will seem in defeat that with this your carnality, because God is the God of all spirit, the Father of all flesh, and He's still accountable to you as part of the lot and portion that He created you. God can still become upon the prostitute and change her to become a prophetess. He can look upon the Boko Haramis and change him to become an apostle. Do you know why? He created him. 
the person may be misusing what God has put inside of him. That doesn't negate the reality that God can download himself inside of him. So in the days that God wants to reach out to men and God look inside church and he cannot find anybody that is willing, he allowed church people to wear their garment and be shouting hallelujah. And he go into the street and look upon a notorious sinner and he breathed upon the notorious sinner the same zeal the notorious sinner used to prosecute the carnal intentions of the kingdom of darkness that same zeal that notorious sinner will begin to use to achieve the kingdom of